In this video, I'll show you how to set up a fallback so that ChatGPT can take over if your bot can't find the answer to a user's question in your knowledge base. Let's start by asking our user a question. So inside of a standard node, I'll just place a raw input card. And in that card, I'll ask our user, what is your question? Let's make sure that we have knowledge answering enabled on this node, so it'll start by querying our knowledge base. Sometimes though, we know our users ask questions that our knowledge bases can't answer. So let's come up with some transitions to help with that. Now, let's set up two transitions. The first will catch if our bot was able to answer from a knowledge base, and the second one will catch if it wasn't. So to do this, I'll take two flow logic cards from the card tray, both of them will be expression, and we'll set them up over here in our node to catch both of these cases. Now, let's insert a variable into each of them. So here, I'm going to be using the variable turn.knowledgeagent.responded. This is a Boolean variable. So remember, Boolean variables store information as true or false or yes or no. So in this case, having this variable here tells our bot if it was able to find an answer from a knowledge base, send a user down this path. Now let's do the same thing, but see what happens if it wasn't able to find an answer from the knowledge base. So we'll go into our next expression card. We'll place the variable again, but we'll place an exclamation point at the front to indicate that it's false, or in other words, it wasn't able to find an answer. This way, we'll be able to send users down this path. Now, both of those cases are accounted for. Awesome. Now, what do we do if our bot wasn't able to answer a question from our knowledge base? That's where ChatGPT comes in. So over here in a brand new standard node, I'm going to place an AI task. In the instructions, I'm going to tell my bot what I want it to do. So I'll say, answer the user, and store the answer in a variable called user answer. And I'll make sure to create that variable down below. Great. So what we've done here is we've told our bot what we want it to do, but we haven't actually sent anything to ChatGPT yet. That's where the AI task input comes in. So I'll tell it over here that the user input is equal to the variable event.preview. And here's a tip. The variable event.preview just stores the last message your user has sent. So it's really useful in cases like this, where we haven't necessarily created a variable for that question they've asked previously, but we want to reference it anyways. Okay, great. So what we've done here is we've told our bot what we want it to do. We've saved the answer that we received from ChatGPT, and now all that's left is to give that answer back to our user. To do that, I'll send a send message card over here, and all I'm going to send is the variable at user answer. Remember, this is where we've stored our answer from ChatGPT. Okay, so now all that's left is to put everything together. To put everything together, I'm going to connect all of my nodes. So I'll make sure that's sent over here. If they don't get an answer from the knowledge base, I'll send them to the AI task that we cooked up earlier. And if they do receive the correct answer, I'm going to send them a simple send message card that says, you've received your answer. This way they know it's working. So I'll say, you've received your answer. Cool. Now, for the purposes of this example, I'm going to be using Wilkie Collins' novel, The Woman in White, as my knowledge base. What I'm going to do to test out and make sure this works is ask it a question about a different novel so it shouldn't know the answer to this based on what's in our knowledge base. So I'll say hi, I'll get asked for a question, and then what I'll put in here is I'll say, who is Rachel Verinder? This is a character from a different novel, so my bot shouldn't be able to find this in my knowledge base. So we wait a bit, we see the AI task is running and then completed, and then we do get a correct answer, despite the fact that this information isn't anywhere in our current knowledge base. Awesome. Happy bot building.